Good morning, boys and girls. I have a story I'm going to read you today. Um, Pastor Tim is going to talk about um, calling some of his disciples and asking them to follow him. And so I'm going to tell you a story about a little boy who followed God. His mother's name was Hannah, and she um, didn't have any children, and she prayed to God and asked him for a child. And she said, if you give me a little boy, I will, fa I will give him back to you when it's time. And so the little boy's name was Samuel. So some of you may remember this story, but I'm going to read you the story of Samuel. You can find it in the Bible in 1 Samuel 3 if you want to look it up and read the whole story yourself. So the title of this story, and I'm going to read it from the Beginner's Bible, it's, uh, and it has a lot of nice little Bible stories from the Bible. This is called A Voice in the Night. When Samuel was a little boy, Hannah brought him to live at the tabernacle. She had promised God that Samuel would serve him all his life. The priest Eli would now take care of Samuel. He would teach Samuel about God. One night, while Samuel was sleeping, he heard a voice say, Samuel, Samuel. He ran to Eli and said, here I am. But Eli said, I did not call you. Then Samuel went back to bed. Here we see uh, him with Hannah and Eli, and here he's in bed. Samuel heard a voice call his name two more times, Samuel, Samuel. Each time, Samuel ran to Eli. Finally, Eli told Samuel, I think God is speaking to you. Next time, say, yes, Lord, I am listening. Then Samuel went back to bed. Samuel, Samuel, the voice said again. This time Samuel answered, Yes, Lord, I am listening. From that moment on, Samuel gave messages to God's people. He was a special prophet of God. And here we see him going to Eli. And here he is back in bed again. And you, as... The Samuel was probably about the age, maybe a little bit older, than Asher and Narkisa are. And so he served God at that age. He answered God's call. And you as children can do that too. God may not come to you and call your name out in the night, but God can ask you through prayer and so forth if, to follow him. And there's things that you can do, like if you have a neighbor, an elderly neighbor who's lonely, you can go visit them. And children at school who may not have a lot of friends, you can befriend them and ask them to play with you or whatever. And those are ways that you can serve God even at your age. Let's have a prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the boys and girls here at Hively and ask you to be with them this week at school or at home, wherever they are. Be with them, and may they learn how to answer your call and to serve you. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen.